Hello, my name is John Haskin. Last February, a coach of the Olympic College track team found me working out in the college gym. Why he came over to me that day, I don't know. But because he did, he ended up changing my life, my body, and my dreams. Up until that point, my entire life had been dedicated to playing baseball. But when I came to Olympic College, I was not given an opportunity to play on the team. So, when I was given this chance to reinvent myself around a new sport, I jumped at that opportunity with the same passion that I had played baseball with. And more. I did not want to look back on this with the same hindsight that I had looked back on baseball, always thinking that I could have done better. Every day, I practiced and I worked out until I started getting better. And I kept doing it until I became an All-American. If you too want to try to throw the javelin, you're not going to need that much. All you need is a javelin, a good pair of javelin cleats or running shoes will do just fine, and a winning attitude. Make sure to properly warm up before throwing. The javelin requires explosive and fluid movements in its throw. Without a good warm up, this can prove very dangerous to your muscles. Warm up first by focusing on your legs, back, and shoulders. These are three very important parts of your body that are all involved in throwing. A good warm up can add some extra velocity and power into your throw. For this first drill, we're going to start by throwing from both knees. This is a good and simple way to warm up your arm without having to throw that hard. Start by keeping the javelin close to your eyebrow. When pulling back, pull straight back, and then slowly start to twist around. Now this might seem counterintuitive at first, however, doing this twist, as shown here, will add a bit more power into your throw by holding onto it just a little bit longer. It might seem like a game of milliseconds, however, by doing this twist, you can add extra power and distance into your throw. It is actually the difference between throwing 150 feet and 200 feet. If there's anyone here who's ever played darts, then you know how important it is to throw through the tip. This applies into the javelin as well. In focusing your energy into the tip of the javelin, it will fly through the air with a better trajectory. The javelin is designed to be aerodynamic. But if you don't throw through the tip, it will become about as aerodynamic as an 8-foot long piece of metal flying through the air sideways. So of course it is very important to throw through the tip. You could also try throwing from one knee. Lean forward and back before throwing to practice the weight shift that is required in the full throw. Before we go on, there are a few things that I need to explain. First, where is the javelin thrown? Right now, I am standing on a 110 foot long runway outside of a track. All tracks have a javelin throwing area. It is either incorporated into the track itself or it is built outside the track. This is for the convenience of the thrower. Every thrower has a run up before his throw. For me, I have 12 steps. I do seven normal running steps followed immediately by five crossover steps which will lead into the throw. For this next part right now I'm going to show you the final five crossover steps. They are the most important and they are used to transfer the momentum of the thrower into the velocity of the throw. For our first drill we're going to be talking about the last step. This is very important. If you are right-handed take your right foot and place it in front of you at a 45 degree angle pull your left foot back at around the same angle. Draw the javelin back, envision the throw, step forward with your left foot, and throw through the javelin. Next is the three step routine. Start in the same position that you did with the one step, draw the javelin back, step forward with your left foot, then cross over with your right foot, step forward, and throw. And now finally for the five step routine. Most coaches encourage first-time javelin throwers to throw like this at their first meets. My coach even recommended that I do that. I ignored him, of course. I did a full routine and threw 161 feet and placed fifth. Well, that's going to be it for today, folks. Thank you so much for... Now, wait a minute. You haven't showed us the full throwing routine yet.